Hey guys, it is Tuesday, the morning of Tuesday, August 16th. I just got off of work, I work overnights, and this is perhaps the final time that I am going to be having a next episode to watch of Better Call Saul. I'm about to watch the finale, and after I get through with the finale of the series, then there is going to be no more new episodes of Better Call Saul, no more new seasons, nothing. It is all, it is all over, and I don't know how to feel about it. I haven't really felt the end yet, because this is like the show that has anchored my um, entertainment um, since 2015. I didn't watch the first season on AMC. I watched it when it came out on Netflix and uh, started watching weekly on season two. And I didn't really know what to make of this show when it was announced, when it started, um, because the earlier seasons, um, they announced they were going to do a, a spinoff on Saul Goodman. I thought, mm, great, he was a good character. I'm interested to see more about him, especially how he became that type of a, that type of lawyer. And early on in the earlier seasons, season one, maybe season two, um, we saw that the show had a, a spin-off-itis, prequel-itis, where everyone knew it was a spin-off. There was no no bones about it. There was a, It was a spin-off to Breaking Bad, and the show felt like that. The show felt like it was a spin-off. Going through the usual stuff that spin-offs have, you know, uh, you follow a character that you've gotten to know in that show, a few references here and there, a few callbacks to... The original show that came before it, characters here and there, but then because Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould are such masters of storytelling, it has become a show that has uh, actually been able to stand out on its own, and, and this show has become my favorite show. Breaking Bad is a great show, masterpiece of storytelling, but this show is my favorite show. I don't know how you can make a prequel, or how they were able to make a prequel that not only gives us more depth on the main character that they were trying to tell us a story about, but the characters that were newly introduced, Kim, Chuck, Howard, none of them were typical stereotypes or archetypes of certain characters and certain roles that you would come to know in most other shows. Not only that, the character of Mike um, was given more layers and complexity as well. Um, and makes his interactions with people like Jesse and Walter in the original Breaking Bad show mean more, mean more, like there's more weight, more more meaning to the stuff Mike says, where he gets his motivations from, it's, 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 it's amazing. Um, not only that, but the characters that we know do survive to Breaking Bad, once they start interacting with the main characters of Breaking Bad, it, 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 again, it adds... Uh, more things, more weight, more complexity, layers, all that stuff because of how uh, because how great the story is. It, it makes things mean more. We see what the original characters in Better Call Saul have gone through. We see how Saul himself has actually built up his Saul-ness. And to me, it was like... Um, it was like watching Anakin Skywalker turn to Darth Vader. Like... We knew it would happen, right? We knew that that end would happen, just like in Better Call Saul. And again, when the first few seasons were, were were out, people were just basically waiting for the moment, the moment. When is the moment Jimmy becomes Saul? And when it came, when it finally did arrive, it, it was perfect, well within the story. It made sense. And it makes even more sense now going to Breaking Bad. And how it affected the people around him, what Peter and Vince have done writing this story is, is make it make even more sense. Everything makes sense. It's, it's, it's insane. And because of how well Better Call Saul is written, you can go back and watch Breaking Bad and go through this endless loop of, of the Gilliverse. Just, ugh, what a show. And I don't think we'll see any show like this again. I believe this is the last possibly the last show on cable television that will have this type of effect 
because everything now is on streaming and all that stuff and but this is the last show on cable television amc in particular i bet you people are already unsubscribing their amc plus accounts now that better call Saul is over effectively as i'm making this recording but the end is here and i'm just so thankful that it it, it turned out the way it did because um throughout all the years since 2015 i was just hoping now please be a good show please be a good show and the first few seasons were good definitely good but there came a point in season three i think it was the chicanery episode where i was thinking why are more people not watching the show it sucks that the show didn't get a lot of the marketing and the media hype and all that stuff because it, it is an excellent show on par and maybe even exceeding breaking bad but oh this is this is crazy i can't believe the show is coming to an end i really haven't felt it but it's over we are here we are here i'm about to watch the finale and it, it's just been to put into saul's words quite a ride it, it has been quite a ride thank you to again vince gilligan peter gould everyone involved all the cast especially um especially bob odenkirk after his health scare while season six, his final season was filming, count our blessings, and I'm, I'm glad health-wise he was able to get through it and production was able to finish. And I'm so glad that it's an excellent ending that makes sense. We've been burned by final seasons, final episodes before. Who knows? This this finale could still uh, this finale could still mess up, but I have full faith in the creators, the writers, that they're going to produce an absolute screamer of a final episode thank you thank you um for a show based in albuquerque in the desert maybe it's also why i like it because i live in the desert albeit with a bunch of casinos in the middle compared to you know albuquerque but there's an appreciation for the desert that this show loved and um portrayed and illustrated in all its glory maybe that's a small reason why i also like this show not many shows are set in the desert and able to portray the beauty and the landscape and all that stuff and that's besides the point i mean it's a great show one more episode to go for me at least and after the hour or so is done no more episodes of better call Saul. no more episodes no more new season of better call Saul. And I guess it'll be time to rewatch Breaking Bad after that. So that's it. Time to watch the final episode of Better Call Saul. Saul Goodman. Saul gone.